with face-to-face -face Brexit talks expected to resume this weekend, my next guest will be hoping lunch, at least, will be a settled issue. It's Italian Cuisine Week and around 400 meals with dishes from nine Italian regions will be distributed at locations right across the capital. Sounds exciting. We want to know more about this, don't we? Italy's ambassador to the UK, Ambassador Raffaele Trombetti, is with us now. Hello to you, Mr Ambassador. Good morning, Kay. Good morning. Nice to see you. And you too. Italian Cuisine Week. Love Italian cuisine. Tell yes. us more about it. Well, it's something that we have been organising for the last few years, not only in, uh, in London and in the UK, but all over the world. Uh, this year, uh, of course, we are doing it in a, in a different way, in a virtual way. So every day there is a chef, an Italian chef, uh, presenting a, a recipe. But the thing I'm particularly proud of is what, exactly what you mentioned. Uh, we have been uh, producing uh, about 400, more than 400 meals that we, we are distributing to communities here in, in London. We did more or less the same thing uh, back in March and April uh, during the, you know, the, the, the harshest months of the uh, pandemic, where we produced about 1,500 meals, again, to be distributed to communities here in London. It's our way, you know, to uh, give people the opportunity to know more about the Italian cuisine, but also to help, to help people, to help communities. What's your favourite dish? Uh, well, I'm from, from, from Naples, so it has to be something from, uh, from, from Naples. So I would say, I would say um, spaghetti alle vongole, as we say, you know, spaghetti with clams. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Already. And it's only this time in the morning already <laughs> I want to eat that. Um, How is it actually going to be well, celebrated? <laughs> you can eat it any time, can't you? Uh, celebrated virtually, though. How does that actually work? It works that, as I said, we, uh, every evening uh, we have a, a famous Italian chef, um, both a chef here in London but also from, from Italy. They have a dialogue with, uh, with, uh, with a blogger or another chef, and in that half an hour, 40 minutes, they produce uh, uh, a recipe, you know, they, they, they cook something, and people receive the recipe uh, a couple of days before, so they can follow, and if they want to, uh, cook together, uh, with uh, uh, with the chef. I mean, in previous years, of, of course, we did those things uh, like, you know, restaurants, uh, uh, going to restaurants. Last year, we were in Borough Market. Uh, hopefully, we can do, uh, we can go back to, to, to this way of, 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 of presenting Italian cuisine uh, next year. Okay. Um, how's your country? I was in Como in um, July, um, but then very quick, I mean, ground zero, of course, isn't it? Up in, in Bellagio there. Um, and everybody seemed to be settling down again. And they looked as though potentially they'd said goodbye to the virus. And now um, it's a, a very real second wave in Italy, isn't it? Well, it is. Uh, it is. The, 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 the data of the last few days are a little bit getting better. But there is no room at the moment for uh, complacency. We should not lower um, our, our guard. So uh, the government is following very closely the situation all over the uh, all over the, the country. We have divided the the country, the regions, in three main categories. You know, from yellow to uh, red, red being uh, obviously the the, 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 re the the areas with with the harshest restrictions. And uh, this will be reviewed regularly. Uh, next time will be on the third of December. Uh, and we hope that, you know, we can, uh, as, as, it, as it is in this country, we can uh, give uh, our people in Italy the possibility of celebrate uh, Christmas, uh, even if it will be in a different way, but still to be able to celebrate it. So many of my viewers will know that the ski season is just around the corner and that is how this disease was, this virus was spread last time. Um, yeah. We know that Italy and Germany want an EU-wide closure of resorts. Austria more reluctant. What would you say to your Austrian counterpart? Well, I say that what we have to do is to avoid that we have a third uh, wave. Uh, this is very important. I understand that people are looking forward, uh, you know, as I said, to, to, to have holidays, to go to ski resorts, even people actually working in ski resorts, of course, for them this is the, 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 the most important uh, part of the of, of the year, the, the most important um, seasons. But as I was saying, you know, this is the time where we have to be very, very careful. And the, the, the best way, from our point of view, to approach this uh, is to have a coordinated uh, approach at the European level. Um, let's talk about Brexit. I know everybody groans, but uh, it's just around the corner now, this transition period ending. How confident are you that 
um, the EU will be able to do a deal with the UK? Well, first of all, we do hope that there will be uh, a deal. I think it's in the best interest of both the uh, European Union and, uh, and the UK. The uh, president of the EU Commission, she was uh, the other day uh, talking to the, Italian, uh, to the European Parliament, and she said that genuine progress has been made in the last few days. There are still some outstanding issues, the, the ones we know, uh, you know, level playing field, the governance and, and fisheries. But I do hope that in the, in the next, in these very days, in the next few days, uh, the two the two teams can 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 reach an agreement. There is no much time, as as we know, but with uh, with uh, with some efforts, I hope and I trust that we can we can reach an agreement. Okay. And just before I let you go, what's your top tip for making spaghetti with clams taste that little bit more sensational? Well, I, th I would always add a little bit of tomatoes, you know, uh, very... Is, is it what you ask? You know, what, what, yes, what, yes, what you, yes, what you yes. Would, yeah, 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 OK. Yeah, um, not, 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 you know, you need, of course, the ingredients. You need very, you know, very fresh um, clams. You need the good uh, uh, olive oil. Uh, but from my point of view, also a little touch of tomatoes give that extra, extra flavour uh, to, the, to the dish. Sounds spectacular. I look forward to coming round and you can cook it for me.